Okay, at the end of the edit, what are you going to do to it? Well, this is a kind of grey area at the moment because we don't have things like 4K Blu-ray discs. The most obvious thing you're going to do is make up a file and then give somebody the file to play back on a TV or you're going to whack it up onto the internet. YouTube and Vimeo can actually do 4K video now if you want to. So basically you're going to make a file. In EDIUS there's quite a few nice 4K output formats. So if I go print a file, you can have a look at all the possible options here. And obviously the first thing we have is Grass Valley's own format, Grass Valley HQX. This will be 4K for you. There's an AVI version and there's a QuickTime version. It's a free codec, so you can download it and use it yourself, even if you don't have EDIUS. That means you can make QuickTime HQX files and give them to other people, and they'll be able to play them back on a Mac or a PC. It's a relatively uncompressed format, so it'll make pretty big files, but they'll be nice clean files, and they'll be the kind of files that you'll use if you're going to take the footage from here into, say, After Effects for a bit of finishing off. It's not the kind of format that you use to give to people to play back on other devices. For that, you're really going to use H.264. And in particular, you're going to use this setting, which will make MP4 files. If I click on that, all you do is you give it a name, then you decide in your bit rates, you can go all the way up to 200 megabits, you can do constant and variable bitrate, and then you can do audio, which can be stereo or surround sound, depending on your project settings. On top of that, you also have options here for you for making up XAVC and XAVCS. Now, XAVC is a format Sony have invented to go with their cameras, and they bring out a lot of new cameras which film in XAVC or XAVCS. It's a bit like the format that the Panasonic camera uses, in that the video is done in H.264 format. H.264 being a very common format, it's how Blu-ray discs are done, it's how satellite transmissions are done. It's very common, it's used all over the place. And XAVC is the same, it's just in a different kind of wrapper. But yep, EDIUS can export. It's one of the very few programs that can export it at the moment. Some programs can't even import it at the moment. EDIUS can import it and export it. Obviously you have standard settings, which match the XAVC format. And obviously you decide what your video bitrate is going to be and how you're going to do the sound. And you can either do it straight to a memory card or you can put it into a folder. Grass Valley have done quite a bit of work on this to improve the quality and the speed of that. And if you have a computer which can do quick sync, you can see I have a hardware tick box and they'll actually be encoding that faster than real time. And it'll be the same with the H.264 MP4 formats. The other options you've got is you can do something like QuickTime and you can download a format from Avid and you can use Avid's DNxHR codec. DNxHR is a new codec which Avid have invented to deal with 4K and you can make Avid codec files straight out of EDIUS. It's basically because Avid have put out their codec for free and you can download it and use it for free, just like the old DNxHD codec, and you can quite happily make this stuff which you can use in other programs. So to go into Avid, I'd probably make DNSHR format files. If I want to go into DaVinci Resolve for a bit of grading, I'll probably make up some QuickTime Canopus HQX files, because DaVinci happily supports Canopus HQX files. So there's a lot of formats that you can make the video up into. I can't do 4K Blu-ray discs yet, because they haven't finalised the specification for it.